Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to display a PDF or a set of images on your WordPress website with a 3D flipbook animation. We'll be using a plugin for that, so let's get started. So here I have logged into my WordPress dashboard. So let's go into plugins and click on add new. And here we'll search for 3D flipbook. So here we can see we have a number of plugins that does the same job. But let's go ahead and install this plugin called Dear Flip by Dear Hive. So let's click on install now. Right, it's installed. Now I just click on activate. And the plugin has been activated. Now if you notice on the left side of our dashboard, here we can see we have a new menu called the flip books now here we have to create books and then we have to add that to our post or our page so let's go ahead and click on add new book first of all we can see that it also has a pro version which has a lot more features than this free version so if you want you can go ahead and purchase that you can also see the full comparison of the free version and the full version over here Right, so let's add a new title over here so I'll just type my PDF and if you scroll down over here we can see we have some options the first one is the book source type so there are two options over here we can select a PDF file or images first of all let's select a PDF file and uh, let's go ahead and uh, click on this button called select PDF and here I already have a PDF file uploaded for one of our previous tutorials if you want to upload a new file you can go to upload files and just drag and drop your files over here or just click on select files and select your file right so let's select this PDF and uh, let's click on send to dflip right here we can see our PDF link now you can choose your custom thumbnail for the PDF just go ahead and click on select thumb and you can select a thumbnail over here for now let's go ahead and publish this book and uh, let's see how it looks on our page once you publish you can see that here we have a short code this is the code that we can use to add this book to any of our posts or our pages so let's copy this from here and let's create a new post and I will just add some title over here and here you can add your content like all the other posts so let me just add a sentence over here After that, let's go ahead and add the short code. So for that, you can just type forward slash and type short code. And this is the Gutenberg editor that I'm using for WordPress. So just select short code. And here you have to paste the short code of our book. So let's paste it over here. And once you've done that, let's click on publish. All right, our post has been published. Let's click on view post. And here we can see our PDF is being displayed. Let's click on this button to view it full screen. All right, so here we have the next and the previous button. So let's click on the next page. And we can see we have this animation of flipping the page. Let's click on the next page once more. And we have this animation. We also have a sound effect. Let's click on the previous button. And you can even click and drag so here I am dragging and we can go to the next page so just click and drag to whichever direction you want and you can go to that page and you also have the option of going to a specific page number over here so you can just type your page number right here and uh, then you have the next and previous buttons over here as well here you have this option of weaving all your pages at the side and then we have this zoom in and zoom out buttons and uh, then we have this full screen toggle button and also the share button and uh, here we have some options like downloading the PDF single page mode so if I click on single page mode you can view one page at a time 
and then other options like go to the first page last page and uh, you can even turn off the sound effects right so let's go ahead and uh, let's see what are the other options that we have in our plugin so let's go back to the dashboard and uh, let's go to dflip books and click on all books and just select our book my pdf let's go over here and uh, let's go to layout now i'm not going to go through all these uh, options over here because there are a lot of options you'll be able to change these settings and uh, test most of these settings so let's uh, take a look at some of these options the first one is 3d or 2d so here we have two options global means it is uh, selecting webgl 3d so we can even select css 3d or 2d let me just show you what happens if you do that let's update and let's go back to our post and uh, refresh our page and now here we can see that we can just uh, drag from here and uh, we have this cool animation where it just looks like flipping a page of a book so it has this realistic animation so we can see how it looks so this is pretty cool for your website you can do this all day long all right so let's go back and see the other options then we can see we have the option of hard pages so you can choose which pages to act as hard so let me just select all pages and uh, let's see what is the effect that we have on our book so click on update and uh, refresh our post now we can see that it looks like a hard page so i hope you find the difference and uh, then we have other options like setting the background color so right now the background color is this one right here you can just go ahead and add your hexadecimal value right here let me just change uh, the hard pages to global settings which means that by default any page won't be hard pages and then we have the option of selecting a background image so let's select a background image and see how it looks i have some images over here already so let's select this one and uh, click on send to dflip and then we have the option of setting the duration of the flip so 1000 means one second it is in milliseconds so you can uh, enter your value accordingly and then we have the height of the container so right now this is the height of the container you can even increase or decrease the height as you wish over here just enter the pixel value right here and uh, then we have all these options you can enable or disable the sound you can enable or disable the downloads and uh, then all these options over here you can just go ahead and uh, tweak these settings and uh, see how is the result all right so let's go ahead and update and uh, see how it looks so we can see we have changed the background image and uh, this is our background image right now and everything else is working as it is and then lastly we have the option of adding an outline to our pdf so outline is basically a tree structure bookmark for your pdf so you can add some text and whenever the user clicks on that that page will be opened in the pdf so let's click on enable outline so you have different options for outline you can enable outline for everything or you can just enable outline for the thumbnail and if you already have some outline for the pdf then we can overwrite the outline with our own outline over here so let's enable this right here and click on true and let's add a new outline for uh, let's say page number two and uh, here we will type two for the page number and we'll add one more outline for uh, page number four and uh, the page number will be four all right so let's click on update and uh, let's view our post and uh, let me just uh, make this full screen so here we have the pdf on the right and on the left side we can see the outline so these are for page numbers two and four so if you click on the second outline which is for page number four we can see that the fourth page gets opened if you click on this uh, first outline 
we can see that the second page opens all right so that's basically how you add outlines for your pdf and uh, you can even close it over here if you want and if you want to view the outline once more you can just click on this button called toggle outline or bookmark and you can view the outline over here all right so i think that's basically it for this video this is how you add pdf to your website and also add 3d flip animations for that and just as you did with the pdf you can even do the same with images so if you go back to our uh, plugin here we can see for source you can just set this to images and then click on add new page and then you can select images from here let me just show you really quick so we have added these three images and let's click on update and uh, let's refresh our post and now we can see all our images are here displayed instead of the pdf so we can uh, go to the next page and here we can see the second and the third images are being displayed so this is how you add images instead of pdf to your dear flip plugin so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and uh, subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day